Okay. Did I do something wrong? I mean, like, how God can make an instant... Whenever I go overseas, I always want to check out either supermarkets and convenience stores and see what food they have that we don't have back in Australia. And that's what I did with the 7-Eleven in Thailand and I found a bunch of snacks that they don't have in Australia and we're going to try them now. So first of all, I'm going to, I'm going to eat the stuff that requires to be eaten now. There is a cheese toasty. So you buy this and then they heat it up for you straight away. It looks like this. It's not bad. I can taste butter. I can taste a bit of the cheese. The outside is quite crispy. I've left it sit a bit long, so, so it's not as crunchy as it should be, but if it's like steaming hot right out of the toaster, it would be delicious. Next up, I've got this ice block thing that I found. I'm not really sure what this is. It seems like some sort of lentil type flavor. No, it's a fruit. It's called Oh. This is like a slushy type consistency. It smells very sweet, like, but it's not overbearing. It's a little bit sour, but it's sweet as well. It's probably not something I'd get again, but if it's in like extreme heat, it's quite refreshing. I also want to try this flavor of pretz, which is the Tom Yum Kung flavor. Look at all the flavoring that's on this stick. Ooh, it smells like sour and spicy. It is a little bit spicy, but not unbearable. There's a bit of like lime flavor to it as well, which is what you would find in a Tom Yum Kung. Ooh, it is spicy. If you can. The sourness and the spiciness really, you can taste it in these breadsticks. I think it's a very interesting play on flavors. I like it. As I was paying for the snacks, I also came across this bun. So this is a peeled mung bean coconut filled rice berry bun. It's a, it's a bit of a mouthful just to say. It's like purpley slash brown in color, what you would look like if you got punched in the eye and it started to bruise. I'm gonna peel it open in half because I think that's where the magic Ooh, is. Ooh, what is that? It smells very sweet, like a custard bun type of thing, which makes sense because it did say it's coconut filled. She doesn't like it. Second opinion. The paste inside is very dense. It tastes like coconut and it tastes like those bean paste type thing, which I don't usually like. I like it. Personally, I'm not a big fan, but if I were hungry, I'd be able to demolish it. That's for sure. You can have this bit. Let me try this lime type drink. I actually don't really know what the ingredients is, but it looked like it was refreshing and I like the color and I like the drawings on it, so I picked it. It's high in vitamin C, which is great because I haven't been eating many oranges at all since I've been in Thailand. It smells really nice. Ooh, I really like this. This tastes like lemon tea, but without the tea. So it's like a lemonade with less sugar. This is delicious. I love it. It's definitely a drink that you should get if you're like it's drinking a Tong Yum Kong and it's spicy and you're sweating in one of the street stores. This would be your savior, 100%. So in addition to the lime drink, I also got a black sesame rice soy milk because I can't drink normal milk and soy milk has been like my savior for the past 10, 15 years. Moment of truth. I think because they've added rice into it, it tastes less like soy milk and more like rice. 
It tastes a little bit like popcorn mixed with sesame mixed with soy milk. There's a bit of a corn flavor to it. I can get behind it though, like I'm getting more and more used to it. It's like one of those things that like when you first drink it, you're like, mmm. Uh, but once you like drink it more, you get used to it. It's like one of those songs, like it's like one of those hit songs. When you first listen to it, you're like, oh, it's nothing special. But then the more you listen to it, it's like, hey, I really like this song. The beat's really good. This is, this is that kind of song. And now for the finale, we have two final contestants. This is something that I'm very, very interested in how it would actually taste like. I've never had instant congee before and I got the chicken flavor because chicken congee is one of my like comfort foods. And if I can get congee done in three minutes instead of like one and a half hours, which is normally how long it takes, man. Wow. This is what it comes in. So because I can't really read Thai, I can't really read the instructions, I'm just going to make an assumption and say that I just need to pour water in for about three minutes and then I can eat it. I think that the congee is now ready for us. Oh what? Did I have too much water? Okay. Did I do something wrong? I mean like how hard can making instant congee be? You just add water to it, right? I mean it smells not bad either i added too much water or i didn't stir when i was supposed to because this doesn't look anything like the picture i am excited and slightly nervous at the same time but that's when you know you're onto a good thing or not it's not too bad <laughs> i mean tastes like chicken so the advertising is not incorrect. It tastes more like chicken soup than chicken congee. So it's more like, you know, one of those like instant soup that you can make and not so much like a congee at all. Then last but definitely not least, the minced pork instant noodles. Smells pretty good. Dehydrated uh, pork mince turned into this, which is I think pretty much the same size. I don't think it's done yet. I'm just gonna give it a few more seconds. False start. Let's try this again. All right guys, take two, a second try at these noodles. Look at these noodles. They look bouncy. It smells really good. No, I've left these noodles in this broth for about five, six minutes, yet the noodles itself doesn't go soggy at all. There's quite a strong pork flavor in the broth. Overall, this is definitely like a really good cup noodle. I'd definitely go back and try all the other flavors that they have. I love it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below, out of everything that I got from 7-Eleven, what's one thing that you would actually try too? If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you very shortly in my next video. Bye!